Yeah, we are also on top of a developing story happening here in Greensboro mm -hmm. today. The final salute for yes. a hero. Everyone going to be paying their respects. Yeah, today Greensboro police uh, will later rest Sergeant Dale Nix. Dale Nix was shot and killed on December 30th while trying to stop a crime at a Sheets gas station in Colfax. Three people have been charged in his death. Since his death, there has been an outpouring of support from all across the state and across the country. WFMY News 2's Taylor Leverett is live at the funeral home ahead of the processional to the church, which will start at noon. Taylor. Well, this afternoon, Greensboro police will lay one of their own to rest. I want to walk you through uh, some events for the funeral service later this afternoon. Now, a funeral procession will be for Sergeant Nix, expected to depart from the funeral home starting at 12 p.m. today. The Nix family is set to arrive at Westover Church for the service at 1230. Now, the funeral is open to the public, so from about 1 p.m. to 145, the public will be allowed into the church to be seated. The funeral service is set to start at 2 p.m. this afternoon. It will be a little over an hour. Then at 3.45 p.m., there will be a gun salute and departure from Westover Church. The Nix family is supposed to give a brief statement following the services. I've got to note as someone who's fairly new to the Greensboro community, it just goes to show all of the community support that has been throughout all of this. It just goes to show the bigger and positive impact that Sergeant Nix had on the Greensboro community and beyond. Live in Greensboro, I'm Taylor Leverett, WFNY News 2. Yeah, that's beautiful perspective, Taylor. I think everyone feels the same. He was a hero in the truest sense of the word. WFNY News 2 will have live coverage of the service before, during, and after the event on WFNYNews2.com.